Hello, and welcome. My name is Kevin. This is Dude for Bruce. We're here in CK3 once more with our university tour. Last episode, we banged out two different universities, one in Siena, the other one in Bologna. Uh, they are now done. Now we are concentrating on getting Padua done, uh, and then we will move over to our Iberian universities in our next uh, push to get those done. Unfortunately for us, I was looking during the break, to see if they we could like combine our cultures with one of them but unfortunately look at this none of them are the three different locations are three different culture groups which uh not that surprising but also very kind of uh why annoying let's get underway with this madness we have uh we're making about what nine or so development in this province 20. dang i misinterpreted that we're getting some weight again, guys. Sorry that we keep doing that. It seems like we're trapped. The thing is about me is that I'm really good. I feel like I'm my most proficient is when I'm on the micro scale of this game. Like when we're only like a very small kingdom and I'm like wheeling and dealing. When we get to these macro size kind of play, I just don't think I have the like wherewithal to be as proficient as a uh, uh as other people just because it's just like whatever man just throw people at the wall see like right there i'm about to probably lose this fight when i have the troops to just hire them out all to make it more likely for me to win but i'm just like whatever man i know eventually we're gonna win this the slow cogs of this bureaucracy i've created is uh is a moving Death to us part. My wife died. Am I wifeless now? Looks like I am. Uh, alliance power. Let's not do alliance power. Let's just do. I need a viejita. Viejita, viejita. Mother of this random dude. I'm gonna marry this random dude's mom. Nice. <laughs> Marrying your mom, dude. <laughs> I hope I hope they expand mercenary companies a little more. It'd be fun if you could play as one. Like, I don't know what that gameplay would be like, but you could, like, or at least foster the, like, creation of one and, like, maybe make the rules and stuff like that and, like, have cool events that pop up when you're doing that. I don't know. It seems like a worthwhile adventure. How... How bad are we? We're in fine health. 74? We can live a while. At this point, we're the, essentially the Habsburgs, right? Like, because we have one, two, three, four people on uh, thrones that are not directly under us. And then under us, they have, we have one, two, and then I think there's, oh, speaking of problems. Uh, good thing I was looking around because I do not want this kid to be my vassal. Why are you supporting this? It's not like they can just, you can kill enough of them and it will happen. Oh, we'll need a new plan. We're like, I think this is the most statted out. Statted out. Um, I got the pretty high learning stats. And then also we've got, I think, the most money I've ever made. Plus the highest prestige and piety. And definitely the most renown. So that's pretty nice that we have that going on for ourselves. If I imprison him, it's going to be tyrannical. 61%, let's go. Put him in prison. Nice. And they're like, that's tyrannical. And I say, I don't care. I think... I know I say this every episode, and we're going to continue to say it every episode, because, like, I, I've I spent not that much time on the graphic, but I like the graphic so much that I kind of want to continue to use it all the time. So at any point, you guys like, all right, Kevin, we get it. You like this event. Just let me know, and I'll, like, temper it down. But... For now, you know what time it is. It's time for another chain war. <laughs> the issue with doing a chain war like this is that I should have had a little more money to go into debt because going into debt will cause a dip in our development growth. How long has this taken us? It's only taken us a year to get <laughs> through this this little chain war. Isn't that grand? Isn't this that grand little chain war? I do you have enough? I'm just gonna do it because like, sorry son, It'd be better if you stayed 
uh, disinherited. I don't you traditionally disinherit people just because it's not. I, I think it's a waste and you can kill them easier. <laughs> like I was saying, I think it's a waste to disinherit people just because you can get those points. You can use those points so much more. But at the point we're at, it's I'd rather keep him alive and disinherit him now uh, than to allow him to get those lands and then somehow have this issue of where this other family owns all that land that is our land. This guy also changes. Smart, Brittany. Slowly. Slowly the world will be Arabic. <laughs> now we're just wild. <laughs> we're wilding now. This is wilding energy for sure. Man, speaking Arabic now too. It's happening. It's happening. <laughs> oh my god. We can do it. We've done it. We've done it once again, guys. Wow, this one happened a lot quicker. But I guess that's what happens when you have 20 a month. It's stats on stats on stats. Oh, we're getting attacked by some... Some Jewish Norsemen are coming to fight me. <laughs> what? Excuse me? You Jewish Northmen, what? You what, mate? Do they have like, are they ultra like Orthodox Jewish Norsemen who are just like, they've got the like hair coming down and they're like raising their giant axe. So I think this one would make the most sense. Fertility, attraction, children of dinosaurs. That was easy. I am pleased with how well we did pretty much destroyed the Abbasid. We destroyed the Arabian Empire. Title history destroyed because you couldn't handle the truth. You couldn't handle it. Um, can we just revoke all of this land from him? Oh, he would let us do that? <laughs> I'll do that for now. Yes! Mas! More! I want it. I want it. I want it so bad. I could get Madrid done this episode, too. That would be wild. But I don't think that might happen just because our... Our boy's getting up there in age. Boom, 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 boom. More development and levels of per game. So now does that mean we have 85? Damn! We're just pumping out this fame like boof, boof, boof. Just like that. So just take a part of their land? Sure. I don't care. At this point, why do we fight people? We fight them so that they learn our language. Not to spread our culture or anything like that. They just need to learn Arabic. Oops. Looks like we've flipped the switch a little bit. So ahead of time on tech. 1,200? Yeah. We're like, this is the last one unless we start uh, moving eight counties into East Germany. Which I don't think we need to do that because that's going to take away from developing our our stuff but we're gonna have issues with our next guy when it comes to keeping everybody happy but that's just how we have to deal with things 31 let's go let's go i've never been so pumped about numbers going up <laughs> just so pumped about numbers <laughs> it's happening all oh, subcontinent is pretty much all arabic speaking now i think it's time to go back to war with the Byzantines. You know, take out uh, this. Dutch. It's weird because the sound effects for the uh, gathering is just like somebody's just picking up and putting down chainmail over and over again. Or just like rustling with it. I don't know. Chainmail moving around sounds. I wonder if that's what they call the sound file. This is kind of like the sad thing about Royal Court for me is that I don't ever visit my own court because it's not really... I don't care. <laughs> like, there's, I got a lot going on in here, but there's, like, the cool tiara. We've got this cool sword. Uh, this elixir, I love the most. Um, that's pretty nice. Our throne is cool. We've got okay stuff on the walls, but, like, I don't know. It's just not that interesting to come in here. Like, there's no, like, maybe I guess if you were, I was RPing a little more, it would be a little more interesting to be like, oh, and then we will step inside my throne room to discuss this matter further. Yep, like I said, one good battle. Just a bag of stuff. Nice, our lands are connected now. I think we'll crush these guys. Crush them. Yeah, I don't really want to hold court just yet. <laughs> 
I like how I'm I'm infirm, so now I gain the trick. Because I'm lazy, I'm like, sure, yeah, I'll be infirm. Weak of body, Toman is not, Tauma is not fit for much except for waiting for death to claim him. <laughs> That's kind of sad. It's so nice. I say it every episode, but I continue to say it. It's so nice to just have easy troops where I'm just like, no, 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 no. That's not what I meant. Uh, I can just easily be like, I need 11,000 troops. That won't cost me a single dime. I think that's been super helpful, not having to have a lot of uh, money wasting on troop movements and stuff like that, or maintaining troops and stuff like that. Mm. Dude, we are killing it this episode. Like, absolutely killing it. We're, we're figuring out who we are as people when it comes to building universities. Boom. Now the university in the bag. Uh, let's get this boy off to... How much would it take for four years? I don't really need you to do that. Um, let's do development in Salamanca now. Ah, uh, these Norse boys. What are you coming for now, target? He's saying we again? Well, good thing my troops are already there. So, uh, come hither. Our court physician died and our anquit... I can never say this word correctly. Uh, what is their name? Antiquarian. Sweet. Got a dope axe. This is like very much the end game where we're just kind of like tooling around, doing whatever we want. There's no, it's not like I could start collecting all the clay, but it's I kind of like these satellite states that have been providing a lot of uh, decent amount of uh, renown for all of us. Mostly, I think our biggest goal is, as I've been saying it throughout this episode, is to continue to do uh, learning and all that stuff. Or, I mean, language. Get our language known across the world. How old is our son? Our son is 68, so likelihood of him living very long is not high. And he's had a ton of sons. Mm, I don't know. Losing some of these ter territories would not be great. We'll see. Oh, no. It's too late for caution. Greatly reduced stuff. Great. Well, I guess that's for for the future me to probably deal with. Iman Tauma, the second of Zaid Iman's soul, has finally been cast to hell? What? 93? He died from Ill, being ill? Known for spending most of his nights in his laboratory? Uh, he sends the throne. Uh, this... Interesting, interesting, interesting. And as usual, we've got the Pope's hat back on. But I think for now, uh, that's a good place to end it. We were successful in creating not one, but two different uh, little universities. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, don't forget to comment, like, probably tell your friends about it if you want to reminisce about how cool the Al Bruce family is. Ciao!